How many terms are in this geometric sequence? Well, when you're asked how many terms are in a particular sequence, when you're given the first term, first few terms actually, and the last term, is to figure out if it's arithmetic or geometric. I know it's geometric because my value is tripling each time. Luckily for us, we have a formula for geometric sequences. Any particular term is the first term times the common ratio to the power of n minus 1, where n is the number of the term that we're looking for. Here, though, we're given the value of the term. We don't know what n is for this. So we plug that in, 413.343. Our first term, 0 0.007, we know our common ratio because we're tripling each time, it's 3. And what we don't know is the n. The n is what we're looking for. We want to know how many terms it takes to get up here. This is the first, this is the second, this is the third. What is this, 17th? I don't know. Let's find out. How do you solve this, though? The first step is to divide out the coefficient on this exponential piece of junk here. Divide both sides by 0 0.007. That'll help cancel that out. Simplifies that side a little bit. And according to my calculator, the value of this is 413.343 divided by 0 0.007. Bam! I get 59,049. All right. Now, how do you solve for n here? A lot of teachers will want you to guess and check. What that means is you go 3 to the power of, uh, I don't know, 11. Nope, too big, so this exponent isn't 11. Is it 3 to the power of 9? No, that's too small. Guess we know what it is. 3 to the power of 10? Yeah, that's the stuff. So that means that n minus 1 is 10. And to solve for n, obviously we just add 1 to that side. n turns out to be 11. But I'm going to teach you a little trick. Rather than guessing and checking to get that 10, here's all you have to do. You just take the log of the number you're looking for, and log is a button on your calculator, even if you've never used it before divided by the log of whatever number is being raised to that exponent. Check it out. If I do this on my calculator, can you see what's going on? You can if I do it here. Log of 59049 divided by the log of 3. Oh, 10. It's just easier that way, I find. But again, if your teacher wants you to guess and check, might as well do that too. Or you can use this secretly and then pretend you guessed. Anyways, when you're looking for whatever term this is, the last, when you're given the last term and you're looking for the n, you got to solve it this way. Plug in the numbers, divide out your a, like we did, then s solve for your exponent, either by guessing and checking or by using this little trick. Best of luck.